Hey guys, Jewelfish here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft Universes here today on the best server in all of Minecraft, OP Legends, jewelfish.oplegends.com, Java and Bedrock Edition. We are here for the third episode of the Versus series against famous YouTuber Royal MC, ladies and gentlemen. The competition is getting tight here. As we found out at the end of last videos, we are running straight into it from the end of the last one. But before we go and get too much far into it, we are once again giving away a thousand credits to one lucky viewer watching today's episode. All you guys have to do to enter is consider dropping a like on today's video and then comment down below your Minecraft username. But yeah, last episode, we did a ton of grinding. And if we go ahead and battle Royal K9 here on the server, we are pretty much bar for bar for the winter stars. I am beating him in farm stars and I'm actually slowly catching up to him in the AFK stars. That's why I'm waiting to drop this video a bit later. Maybe on Friday, I'm thinking we're going to drop this episode right now. It is currently Wednesday, but we are low key sneakily creeping up on Royal in AFK stars. We're here at my realm, but before we go ahead and get into it, if you do not know what Minecraft universes is, it's a giant universe where you can grind five different game modes to go ahead and compete for gang top or rank top or whatever it is. Basically, it's a super competitive grindy Minecraft server where you go ahead and try and level up your character to the best of your abilities. And right now, I'm just doing it against Royal. We're out here at my realm right now. And as you guys can see, we still have the generator from the last video with the cobblestone and the wood generating like crazy. But recently, I went ahead and I now have my computer on pretty much all the time running my second Minecraft account, Jewelfish with the one. I know it's kind of funny. But yeah, there we go. We got this guy running all the time now. And as you guys can see, we extended the chest system a little bit. And we are making millions of AFK orbs now. And we have 693 million AFK stars. If we go ahead and hit a star stop on AFK, probably some players are hiding their star balance. But Royal has been at 1.61 billion stars for over 24 hours now. Which means this guy hasn't been selling anything to upgrade his gens. Unless he's hiding it at exactly 1.61 billion stars which I highly doubt, this guy is not actively upgrading his generators. Yes, he will be having a lot of items to sell, but he isn't optimizing his generators like crazy. Me, every few hours, I log back onto my computer and I actually do upgrade my generators. So we do have some pretty solid gens running over here and lots of wood going straight down into this thing and being able to be sold with my 1.5 multiplier. On your realm, you can upgrade your generators. We just shift right click and there we go. We just upgraded this to an acacia log wood generator. We can put that back down and now that's going to go into our filtration system and we could sell that for free money. This also low-key acts as a mini skyblock island where you can customize your island and buy stuff in the slash shop like the building colored blocks. I don't really care for that because we are here to win the versus series and get the most amount of trophies in every universe. Last episode, we went crazy mining all this snow out here and we have 7.53 million stars, but now we got to take a break from this. Royals 2 million stars ahead of me in Arctic, but that's going to have to come another time. Off camera, your boy did start working on this rank currency pet a little bit with the 3.08 boost. And then we have our orb boost at 7.5. Let's hit the slash farm command and go to the farm world. And as you guys can see, this is where the farm universe is. And we have 152k stars. We did a bit of this in last episode, which was fun. But one thing I did learn about the star universe, thanks to Royal's message in chat the other day, is that stars aren't really expandable. If you put in the time, you put into effort, you buy a ton of flood of in, uh, a heaven, like that enchant that just activated you are going to go ahead and be making the same level of stars as the top player on the server as long as you have a star booster activated and a max out flood of heaven you're going to be making the same amount of stars as a top player so that's why in today's video we need to go ahead and max out flood of heaven so we are making the most amount of stars and getting the most amount of flood of heaven activations for the most amount of stars being broken because you see these guys right here you break it and it gives you seven stars so we need to find the best way to break the most amount of these at once and that is definitely going to be flood of heaven we're going to hit a realm visit eden 1335 and we're going to start selling some items what is this this realm has been certified by m owner royal k9 proof on back check out his video oh my god versus series episode two on his channel okay guys make sure to watch my episode two if you haven't yet already but yeah that's a little shout out to royal at the plot that's funny they should put a, a jewelfish approves of this shop i would love that i would love the free clout anyways guys let's go ahead and sell some of these 
for some farm orbs yeah we could sell 30 farm keys and now i've gotten most of these from a key all so it doesn't even matter like i didn't really even grind for those and that we could sell some of our loot keys although royal might roast me for selling these in one of his videos we're gonna go ahead and sell a ton of them i'll bring you guys back once i've sold a whole bunch all right we just finished selling up some legendary some relic keys and some farm keys we have 328 billion farm orbs guys that will get us 5,000 levels of flood of heaven hopefully that does help us out go ahead and run it up on this grind i hope that was worthwhile i might just need to sell more keys because that was really good although i do know saving keys for other universes where i am further ahead might be the better play but man 5,000 levels of flood of heaven just like that is kind of op i'm not even gonna complain like that is solid as you grind up your skills out here on the server too you're gonna unlock stuff like some ultra pet boxes and uh your boy actually did go ahead and win some good stuff off camera like i got from one of the skills i believe in arctic i got to start the world loot box and since i was so focused in on grinding i did actually get a 1.5x orb boost tool which i don't think we're going to use in this universe but maybe once we get better in arctic again we may go ahead and actually make use of that because i love the arctic universe but yeah as you can see we just got 24 pet backpacks or boxes and now we can level this up even more and we need more tier 7 pets if you don't know what the best enchants are on any universe this is it pretty much it's the uh, you can get type slash tips and then put in the universe and as you guys can see combo fertilizer and flood of heaven are the best enchants we need to go for right now but honestly we're not getting that many orbs from our flood of heaven procs so i might need to get a little more fertilizer real quick i'm gonna go ahead and sell some keys for crops too because you know i could actually use some of that so yeah let's go ahead and sell 22 keys for crops and then we're gonna sell the rest of them four orbs again and then we're gonna buy some fertilizer so yeah let's go ahead and get some fertilizer as well and then we also get okay, just a, just a few more relic keys we have a lot but like honestly today's gonna be a huge grind in farm and i don't want to waste my time screwing around out here so yeah let's go ahead and see how much fertilizer we can buy now hopefully it's a few thousand levels yes four thousand levels of fertilizer just like that maybe we should got a few rank ups but I don't think it'll matter too much now hopefully the combo doesn't matter too much to me since we are going to be stacking up the combo anyways we're doing a long grind for today's video but yeah i think we might be good to go now and the inventory is kind of low-key filling up hey we got some star boosters too that's pretty solid let's go ahead and activate the orbs set because we're not going to be using this rank currency in today's video quite yet so yeah now we just got to decide the booster all right so i have an hour and a half of boosters lined up and i guess it's just time to get going we have the apple armor equipped as well which is going to give me a crop boost and a farm or boost and then we're just going to run it up and i'm now onto the bad batch boys we officially finished the rewatch of clone wars and now we're going to get into that show so yeah wish me luck boys let's go ahead and see how many stars we can make to try and beat royal on val uh yeah because he only has four thousand farm stars Alrighty, guys so it has been about an hour and a half since we ran up the boosters the orb booster is just about done and the rank currency boosters have a crap load in queue unfortunately so yeah that might be some going down the drain but anyhow guys we did mine about 70k crops again and this time we got 120k stars so activating those boosters definitely did help us out and having a better flood of heaven helped us out a ton my only concern is that royal might start out with a start out in the farm universe with a max out flood of heaven enchant which will help him get way more stars way faster than me and i low-key messed up in my first episode of the series because i put my 3x rank currency on this instead of a star booster tool but like yeah like this is just bad like i'm so stupid for putting this on because i'm not even close to rank top we're ranked 270k which might sound good on paper but if we rank top farm uh yeah five million is 10th place and we're not even close to that but for stars top you know at least we have um 300 000 stars and the 10th spot is a million stars you know at least we're somewhat close to that but 200 000 rank is absolutely pathetic i mean i literally have more stars than i have rank which goes to show you i'm doing something wrong in the farming universe which is my sign to stop for a little bit until we can immediately sell some keys and get that max out flood of heaven and maybe delete this rank currency boost tool modifier because that's just like a stupid mistake i should have put two star modifiers we did unlock the second slot and i went ahead right away put a 0.27x star boost tool modifier on that that way we're looking a little better now throughout the grind i also went ahead and unlocked a tier 4 modifier box where we got a 0.26 star boost okay that's the second best one i have so far 
So I'm not even gonna complain about that. Maybe instead of putting this on, I should have done an orb boost, but like I said, we're probably gonna take a break from this universe for a while now. My explanation behind that, for those of you that are still confused, is basically in a few days, these farm keys, you're gonna be able to sell them for like 10 billion farm orbs, and that'll help us max out our hoe even faster, which means my a ton of that grinding I might have done might have just been a waste of time in a few days, but the only way to really know is to find out. So at least we have a solid head start on our freaking uh farm starts like 275k that is definitely not horrible at all from all the crate key openings of the loot and relic crate keys i now also have some orbs to spend on our sword to get started with uh let's go ahead and type tip slayer and see what enchants are best chain multi-strike and mutation so yeah we're definitely gonna go ahead and get some levels of chain let's get 1000 levels of that and then we need actually you know at 2000 3000 why not let's do tip slayers again because we are spending all these 600 billion orbs. We got to do some multi-strike, of course. Mutation, let's get a few thousand levels of that. That's putting a little dent into our money. And then we got to get mutation. I don't know what mutation does. Uh, what does mutation even do? Summons lightning from the sky, killing mobs instantaneously. Oh, well, I already have a few levels of that. What was the other one that we don't have? Mutation and multi-strike. Where's multi-strike at then? Multi-strike right there let's go ahead and ooh, we can get 14k levels of multi-strike that might be good but no we're just gonna grab a few thousand levels of that uh spend most of the orbs and drop the rest on chain and now when we start slaying over here we should be killing a ton of mobs and how many stars are we making we only have seven slayer stars this is gonna be a freaking grind to do thankfully from the key also we do have a few slayer crates to go ahead and sell and we could sell those for how many orbs is that another one troll slayer orbs yeah i don't even know why i left let's go ahead and get a thousand levels of everything else now or at least a few thousand levels of everything else let's do two thousand levels of mob grenade and then just slowly go through and pop some of these all and we spent all of those and now we should have a pretty solid sword now it does have a ton of visual effects and honestly i'm not really messing with all those especially if i'm just trying to sit here and chill out with the grinds if we do global settings or i think universe uh event settings maybe yeah so we want to turn off the mutation enchant lightning we just want to turn off slayer mob glow all this crap laser enchant particles like we just need to chill for a bit that way it's not going to him obviously the mobs still need to fly in the sky for whatever reason but yeah now if we just hit a quick slayer again reload the world the mob shouldn't be glowing or anything like that it should be looking a lot more chill out here yeah thankfully not too crazy some of the enchants still have some effects but it's a lot more chilled out now and not so loud and ridiculous now a cool thing about this realm is that auto clicking is allowed so i don't need to sit here and go ahead and click every single one of these i could just activate my auto clicker at a solid eight clicks per second and now it's just gonna go ahead and run it up for me as you boys can see so yeah this is one way y'all can grind in this universe and wow, I'm I'm not making that many orbs compared to like selling the keys. The keys is definitely going to be more worthwhile for me to start it out. I just know that the Slayer universe is actually busted. So apparently in this universe, ascending by typing slash ascend goes ahead and scales up your star progression. So yeah, we need to unlock a few ascensions and that way we can go ahead and uh, you know, get a better player out here. But the thing is, I'm so far behind in Slayer, we need to be careful about what we do out here because like, I need to sell all my Slayer keys to get the most amount of orbs so we can keep on continuously upgrading our sword so we can ascend and try and scale the star growth because I don't even think Royal has started if we uh, battle him right now. I don't even think he started out in the Slayer universe. Yeah, like 8,000 stars. That's literally as much grinding as I've done, which is like 600 mobs killed. So I don't know, boys, like what to do at this point. I do have 61 Slayer crates and we can't withdraw them. So we may as well go ahead and pop those open. And yeah, only 16 billion orbs. Like what the hell? What the hell does that even do? So yeah, it looks like this is just going to be a long grinding game for us. Trying to get stars like very lamely. Although I could maybe try trade stars for one universe to another. Oh God, I don't know what to do. Alrighty guys, so it is now Thursday out here on the server, which means it's been a day since the last clip. In the last clip, we were actually considering grinding out the Slayer universe, but I went to bed after recording that clip and I woke up and uh, Royal is actually now destroying us in both the Arctic universe 
and the Slayer universe. This man has 400,000 Slayer stars, which is okay, but I swear he had like 5 million not long ago. So I'm pretty sure Royal is actually hiding Slayer stars. And one thing a player on the server, Chibiscus, told me, I believe their name is pronounced, they said Royal sold or another player, I can't remember which player, but someone told me Royal sold his farm fragments for farm orbs to go ahead and get a better hoe on the realm, which means this man is about to start competing for farm stars. As you can see in the last clip, or literally just 30 minutes ago, he had 5,000 farm stars and now he has 15,000. So that means this man is trying to compete with me in the farm universe as well. Right now, I've been spending the last few hours trying to grind back up to him in Arctic since he doubled his stars overnight while I was asleep. Because this man grinds while I'm asleep. I swear to God, every single time I hit the hay, this guy's back online grinding on Minecraft. Anyways, I talked with Shib Hibiscus, one of the top players on the server, and they went ahead and traded me my 25 farm fragments for 3 trillion farm orbs, and they told me a certain few enchants to go ahead and cop. They told me to focus on Creeper Surge, Fast Rego, and Flood of Heaven, and Fast Rego again, and then get some Tractor Rush. So yeah, we gotta go ahead and get a few thousand more levels of Tractor Rush since we're definitely lacking in that department. We'll make a dent into our orbs. Let's spend like 500 bill there. Now our tractor rush is a lot higher. We should get some more creeper surge. Let's go ahead and make a dent in our orbs there as well. And then we gotta get more fast regrow because right now our fast regrow is actually pretty bad. Yeah, let's go ahead. How many levels of that? We could we could nearly max it out, but I don't even think we're gonna do that. Let's get a few thousand levels of that. We're halfway through spending all these orbs. Uh, Flood of heaven and fast regrow surge. Do we have creeper surge? Okay, yeah. Uh, fast regrow. Okay, I'm gonna get another 1,000, 2,000 levels right there so that way we nearly have it maxed out and we'll drop the rest Ooh, wait we're actually close to maxing out creeper surge why not max that out do that and then we need flood of heaven even more yeah let's see how many levels Four thousand levels of flood of heaven i mean shoot boys we nearly have that maxed out now that is looking sweet for farm stars progression and what the hell yo what the hell just happened to my farm it just wiped out a crap load of stuff but anyways the farm grind should be a lot easier and I'm kind of done with the Arctic for the day. Oh my, what is happening? Like, this is ridiculous. Anyways, I'm kind of done with the Arctic grind for the day. So the next grind for today might be the farm world. But I think that might be it for today's episode. And the next episode will probably be dropping Saturday if this comes out Friday. I'll see you guys in the next clip, whether it's the outro or an update. I also noticed uh, between the last clip, we said we only had, or he only had 1 billion AFK stars. He now has 3 billion. I have 1 billion as well. But, um, yeah, I don't think we're actually going to be able to catch up to him, guys. I kind of fumbled the bag here in the AFK universe. I should have had this going for a while longer. Plus, my computer turned off last night. The Wi-Fi cut me out and it didn't reconnect my accounts. So I lost out on some key all loot and some other stuff, too. So, yeah, we are slowly upgrading these gens right here. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing double upgrades now. But there we are. That, that looks like it. This is this is unfortunate hopefully we somehow catch up to him in afk universe but the worst part about the afk universe is once you're behind you're behind all right guys so i went ahead and hit another quick grind session in the farm universe out here ladies and gentlemen with the upgraded harvester hoe whatever you want to call this the farm hoe ladies and gentlemen and we now have the fast regrow max out i was putting all my money towards that and now we're putting it towards flood of heaven and ooh, we got a lot of farm keys to sell, which we might go ahead and do Realm Visit Eden 1335. These guys keep asking for a shout out on uh, the shop in the video. So this is my shout out to Eden's shop right here. If you guys are looking for the best shop on the server, be sure to come check out Eden 1335 store because they do have the best items and prices typically. So yeah, let's go ahead and sell that for 300 billion farm orbs right there. Right now, it's not worth it for me to keep my keys um, because we're still slowly leveling up through the farm universe. But now we have nearly 18,000 levels of Flood of Heaven, which is going to be huge or collecting stars but i think that's going to be it for today's episode of minecraft universes here today on the channel as you guys can see our farm universe is looking super op we're nearly at a million ranks so we definitely are catching up in terms of ranks and i want to give a shout out to chibiscus for the advice on that our combos at t6 our combo is not huge right now but it's something it's definitely something but yeah i'm happy with the progression we made um right now we're definitely beating royal and farm and that we're close to him in Arctic. The Arctic is neck and neck because I left for an hour or two. And if we bow Royal, this guy's already beating me again 
in Winter Stars. It's like, I don't even understand. Like, we're neck and neck right now for the Arctic universe. So, we're going to have to see how that plays out towards the end of the week. But I think that's going to be it for today's episode of Minecraft Universes. Please, guys, make sure to hop on the server using my P if you want to directly support me and the channel. But other than that, guys, I'm going to see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. You're all amazing, beautiful people. And I hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Peace out, home dog. I love you guys.